the second wave of protests in Madison are well underway. Protesters say even though it's the summer and some people are switching to vacation mode, they still expect big crowds. People have gone on vacations, but you know the teachers aren't working, and they've been uh, uh, in the lead of, uh, of organizing against uh, the Walker's agenda. So um, I think with the better weather, uh, you know, we, we got 100,000 in a snowstorm. I think we can probably do as well in good weather. On Monday morning, a couple thousand people marched around the Capitol Square several times times, led by former U.S. Senator Russ Feingold. The parade marched past in Titletown, a tent city set up along two sides of the square. Protesters plan on camping out on the sidewalk throughout the budget debate, which will take at least three weeks. <laughs> Protesters are much more aggressive this time around. When the parade got to M&I Bank, they blocked the entrance. Some of the same agitators who disrupted the Joint Finance Committee last week now were wedging themselves into the bank's doorway. There were also some actors from Illinois. They tried to stage a play on the bed of their truck. So come on over because we're going to actually have a little theatrical illustration of what's going on with this budget that I think you're going to enjoy. But the parade marched on. Protesters say they plan on continuing the parades daily, at least throughout this week. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.